All right, everybody, this is Mr. Longo here, and we are going to have a short video on domain and range. Now, this was created for extra practice because students at times have difficulty understanding what the domain and range is of a graph. So we're going to just kind of cover it. So domain is your x values. And when you're talking about domain, you want to think of going to the left and going to the right. What is your graph doing left and right? Um, and range is your up and down or your y values. So when you list domain and range of a graph, you want to list what are the values of x. And then for range, what are the values of y? And a lot of times it's going to be all real numbers, which means it's infinite number of answers. So what you do is kind of look at what X is doing. To the left, your graph is going to continue to go forever. So that would be going to negative infinity. And to the right, it's also going to positive infinity. Like it's not going to stop anywhere. So when you go from negative infinity to positive infinity in terms of left and right, that means x is equal to all real numbers, okay? Um, now for range, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to think about terms of up and down. Now this one is basically y equals x. This is the easiest possible example we can give you. Um, so it's also going down forever and it's also going up forever. So when it goes down and up forever, y is also equal to all real numbers. Okay, and again, those that's the all real number symbol. It's basically the letter R with two vertical lines. Um, so that's domain and range of the first example. Now the next example is gonna be a little bit trickier because to think about domain, we look left and right again. Does it go left forever? Yes. Does it go right forever? Yes. Every single number imaginable is covered by this graph. Because remember, arrows means it keeps on going in that direction. So this keeps on going to the left and down. This keeps on going to the right and down. So since it goes left and right forever, your domain, again, is x is equal to all real numbers. But your range, does it go up forever? No, it doesn't. Your range never gets higher than 5. Notice it never goes above level 5, or where y is 5 on the y-axis. Um, so we don't say x is never above 5, or y is never above 5. We don't say that. We have to list what values are there. So since 5 is your maximum value, we say y is less than or equal to Five. Okay, so again, range is up and down. It never gets above 5, but it goes down forever and ever and ever. So that's why we say y is less than or equal to 5, because that would cover negative 10, negative 1,000. It's going to keep on going down forever and ever and ever. Okay? Next one. Also, something to think about. It does not go left, and it does not go down forever. So remember, left is domain, down is range. So we start here. This is what we would call a starting point of this particular graph. Um, so for the domain, it doesn't go left forever, but it does go from negative 6 and beyond. So for our domain, we want to say x is greater than or equal to a negative 6. But then our range, we have to think of separately. So our range goes up forever, but it does not go down forever. It never gets below level 4 for our up and down, or our y value. So y has to be greater than or equal to 4. Okay? So again, like I said, this is sometimes a little bit tricky to do, um, but you just have to remember domain is listing what x values are there, and range is listing what y values are there. All right, so here are three more. And one of them is actually kind of tricky. Try to trick you on one of them. Um, but why don't you pause the video and try these next three problems. List your domain and range. If you don't get the notation quite right, it's OK. If your thought process is correct, that's the most important part. We'll teach you how to write it, OK? 
So analyze these three, list what you think the domain and range are, and as soon as you're ready, click play, and you'll hear me go through them. Let's go. Okay, so for the first example, our domain is our x values. So notice it goes left forever, but it never gets past x is equal to 7. So that means your domain x is less than or equal to 7. Okay, and then think about it. 6 works, 0 works, negative 5 works. 8 does not work because 8 is not less than or equal to 7. As you can see, we have no graph at x equals 8. And your range, it's going down forever, but it never goes above y equals 6. So your y is also less than or equal to, but this time we're less than or equal to 6 because it never gets above y is equal to 6. Okay, so if you got that, you are correct. All right, so this is the one that's a little bit tricky. You probably listed, you might have listed yours incorrectly. Maybe you listed it right, and that would be amazing. So your domain, it does not go left forever. And it also never goes right forever. But it's any value in between negative 4 and 5, including negative 4 and 5. So your domain for this is you list your minimum, negative 4, is less than or equal to all x values between, and then you list your maximum value of 5. Okay, so negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. But you also don't list negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. You don't want to list them all because negative 3.5 is also one of them. 1.5 is, 2.9 is. So you have all sorts of different um, values in between negative 4 and 5. So that's why we write it like this. This says negative 4 is the minimum, 5 is the maximum, and all x values in between. We do the same thing for the y value. The smallest y value is a negative 5. And our biggest y value is 2. So if you said something like between negative 5 and 2 for the y values, then you would be correct. Okay, now your last one is the trickiest, if you've never seen domain and range before. Um, with this, all we need to do is list our x values. So x is equal to, and we have a negative 8, and then we go to negative 4, we go to 0, positive 4, and positive 7. Now, why did I list them out like that this time, but not in the last example? And that's because they're not connected. Notice negative 7 does not have a graph here. Neither does negative 6 or negative 4.5 right over here. It's only those specific dots. So your range is also going to be just your specific dots, but this time we're just going to list the y values. Um, so we have a negative 7 for a y value. We also have a negative 3. Uh, this is also negative 3, so we don't have to list those twice. We have a y value of 0. And we also have a y value of 8. So the only time you list it like this is when you're just given specific dots. All right? That's it on this video on domain and range. This is Longo, and I'm out. See you. Bye.